Okay, we've kind of seen how to make a pot, but now we're gonna see how to clean up. And there is a specific way you clean up in here. Each studio has its own procedure. This is how our studio works. You get the water you're gonna throw with out of the faucet. The water never comes back in this sink. You throw your pot. When you clean up, you come over here, and we'll see this in a minute, and we pour everything in this hole. It's a two-stage clay trap. Everything goes in this hole, which will put it into this container. From this container, the heavy clay stays in here. The water leaks out through the holes. As the water moves towards the pipe, the heavy particles settle out, and we'll take these out and this out, put on the plaster bats, and that's the clay we recycle. Makes it really nice to throw with. And so the water coming out of this pipe should be almost clear. If it's not almost clear, you need to let me know because then uh, we've used it too much and we gotta clean it out. There is also a clay trap under here that'll protect our pipes, but pottery wheels can generate a lot of clay. So it all goes in this hole right here. All your clay water, all your clay after you throw goes in here. We generally don't lose 1% of our clay. We lose less than 1% with this system. Okay, we've thrown our pot, we put it in the cabinet. Now we have to clean up. First thing we do is turn the power off to the wheel. Then I can step on it and the wheel head's not going. Take the bucket, put it on the wheel head. First thing I do is take my sponge and I'm gonna clean off any of the tools that I've used into the white bucket. Your goal is to leave the tools in a better state than you found them. Now, if you made a mess anywhere out here, you want to take the sponge, clean all this up. You want to do all this before you go back over to the sink. Now, next step is I want to take the small splash pan off. To do that, there are thumb tabs on each side of the tray. You're going to push down here with your thumb, and I, put, I hang on to this, as you pull up here with your fingers. So push down, pull up and it pops off. Then you take, tilt it up like this. You may want to come over here. And what I'm gonna do is then clean this, everything into the white bucket. And again, if someone else left kind of a mess, I'm gonna take just a minute 
If you notice, this really doesn't take very long to do. You clean off. Now, I'm gonna to wanna to take those back over, but I can put this here. Come in here if I see any clay down. Rinse it out. Now you're just reversing all the procedures you did to clean this up. To get this tray off, I put my foot against that leg, grab here, slowly see how I'm working it back. You'll feel it let go. Put this up. If I see anything that's messy back here, I'm gonna take the sponge, clean it off, then slowly start working from the top down. Clay gets down in there. And it all goes into the white bucket. And do the same thing with the outside. it off then last but certainly not least we do the wheel head pick all the water up off of it and then do the edge and that is how you should leave your potter's wheel. Now, I'm gonna take my tools and my water. I'm gonna head back over. We're gonna put the bucket here for just a second. Then I come down here, needle goes here. Uh, we'll have a container for the lip finishers throwing sticks here. This one goes in the center. Then I come over here. And what I usually do, and I suggest this, is take, set your bucket up here, and what you can do is just run around the outside of the bucket, get it cleaned up, Then go around on the inside initially to get most of that clay down in there. Then you take and pour it in. And as it's going in, you just scoop all the rest of that clay in there. If you need to get a little water from in here, sponge out the inside of the bucket. Everything goes in here. Okay, now, couple caveats. If I had a really stubborn thing, I could get some more water, put it in there. It doesn't go down that drain, not that sink drain. It comes over and goes into the 
the clay trap. Say I had a potter's wheel that was a real mess. I needed more water to clean up. I get fresh water in here, go clean up the potter's wheel. When I bring it back, it all goes in here, okay? Squeeze out the sponge. Put the sponge back, put the bucket up here. There should be at least 10 buckets up here at the end of the period, or 12 buckets, 12 of everything. That's how we keep track of everything. And that is how you um, use the potter's wheel. Okay, we've seen how to clean everything up. And if you notice, I haven't gone to the sink yet to wash my hands. I just put my bucket and sponge over there after cleaning everything up. If you come and look at the amount of clay I have on my hands, this is the most you should ever have on your hands before you go to the sink to wash your hands. So I get soap and now I can come over here and this little bit of clay is gonna get caught in that clay trap in there and I can wash my hands here in the sink. It's the absolute last thing you do in this class because once you wash your hands, you should be able to walk out the door uh, when it's a wheel day. Uh, everything else goes into the clay trap. Also check underneath your rings if you can't get your rings off to make sure the clay is out of there too. See? That's the last step when you're throwing on a wheel day.